Good morning, my beautiful Cancers, my 69 crew, my moon babies. Okay, uh, Cancer, I don't know why, but you're constantly in my energy right now. Um, uh, channel messages uh, that have come through for you is, um, you're quite sick and you need to take to the bed. It's time for you to rest. Okay, Cancer, so I've been told by your own spirit guides that you need to take a few days off of work. Um, before you really burn yourself out, okay, um, because you're not well, there's something going on like in the chest area, or the throat area for you, um, so it's time to rest, okay, the other channel message I got from you is, um, <clears throat> is that there's particular signs, uh, you know, some signs around you that are stopping you from actually moving forward in your life, I don't know what these particular signs are, but we will find out. But anyway, I've been told to start with the Ultimate Exposure Deck for you, also known as the Trigger Deck. Um, it is quite early in the morning, like I said, Cancers. Uh, you're not letting me sleep at all, okay? <clears throat> so, um, my Cancers, what you need to know, don't worry about BB number four, it's fine. Hang on, let me just go sort it out. Uh, sorry about that, Cancer. <clears throat> Uh, you could be having trouble with um, a Libra or a Libra Scorpio cusp. Uh, Buff baby number four, he is a Libra Scorpio cusp, so you may be having trouble with one of those. Okay, a Libra in particular. Okay, uh, what is... I nearly called you Gemini. Maybe the, the signs that you're done with is air signs. Okay, but um, what else does Cancer need to know? Okay, obviously this isn't for everyone, so only take what resonates with the rest. I am reading for a collective. Okay, so different signs will come out with the same message, okay? Alright, you could find out that a Taurus betrayed you, cheated on you, or lied to you. Um, you could find out that a Pisces friend had a secret child with your ex. Um, you could also find out that a Leo stole your ex while you were together and your ex was willing and allowed it to happen. Eight, Taurus's lies will be exposed publicly, clearing your name. So whatever this Taurus has done to you, um, they're going to be exposed publicly. <clears throat> I've been told to clarify that with them, by who is going to expose them. I'm hearing possibly a court case. If you're in a court case with a Taurus, their lies will be exposed publicly. Um, there's something in their, in their statements, in witness statements, that's not quite adding up on their side, but on your side... It's clear-cut and it's honest, okay, because you are honest, Cancers. All right. Apparently, there's something with this Taurus's facial expressions. Um, a psychologist has picked up. Um, if you had to have a psychologist during this court case, then a psychologist has picked up on Taurus's facial expressions, the way they move their hands, and apparently... Um, that's what's going to give them away. Okay, the whole body is lying. And that's what's going to be exposed, publicly clearing your name. So if somebody is, is trying to, I don't know, put you in prison for something, um, you will be acquitted, okay? You will get a victory from that. Okay, you could find out that a Scorpio is pregnant or lying about it to trap you or your person. All right. <clears throat> um, a Sagittarius friend could have had a secret child with your ex. Um, this is why I say, um, this is for the collective, okay, there'll be different signs, but you'll get the same message, okay, not all of you are dealing with the same particular signs, because now you've got a Sagittarius is pregnant, or lying about it, to trap you or your person. Eight, Pisces is keeping your twin flame stuck to them. An air sign stalks your every move and hacks your phone, this is why you're done with air signs, you found out. Okay, um... This air sign, this Gemini Libra on Aquarius, could be part of this Taurus's entourage. Okay, that's what I heard. Okay. Oh, this is sweet. If there is another Cancer around you, okay, they need love, honesty, loyalty, stability, an equal give and take, happiness, family, and you are the one to do it, Cancer. Okay. Oh, that's really sweet. You know, yeah, all of you Cancers deserve all of that. You really do. You could also find out that an Aquarius is pregnant or lying about it to trap you or your person. Um, if you're a male um, Cancer, 
this could be that an Aquarius man is lying to you um, about possibly a friend of yours or, you know, someone that you know. The Aquarius man could be lying, saying that, oh, you know, we're having a baby, when in fact that they're not. That was strange that that came through, okay? So an Aquarius man is lying about pregnancy. Uh, I'm hearing to actually keep your person away from you, okay? If this is an Aquarius female, then um, the Aquarius female is pregnant or lying about it, either to trap you, Cancer, with a baby, or to trap your person, okay? That's how this one's working out with an Aquarius, okay? So an Aquarius is actually lying, okay? What messages does Cancer need to hear, please? What messages does Cancer need to hear? Don't believe everything you hear. Get the facts from the horse's mouth. Okay. There's a Taurus man involved here, so you could be in a court case with a Taurus man. <coughs> <coughs> here we go. Throat chakra. Okay, somebody wants to have a son with your cancer. Uh, past rela relationship reconciliation. So you could find out um, that someone you know went back um, to a past relationship, they had a reconciliation with an ex, okay, uh, you've got an Aries woman involved here, your psychic gift scares the bejeebas out of someone, okay, could be an air sign, I'm hearing, your psychic gift scares the crap out of an air sign, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius, okay, and someone was saying our relationship was never real, let's find out, let's clarify these, shall we? So it's right, chakra. I had to take a sip of my tea. It is really early in the morning, so that's why my voice is kind of deeper as well. Okay, who is scared of your psychic gifts? Who's scared of your psychic gifts? Okay, I know the deck was upside down. Okay, but who is scared of your gifts? A Taurus, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, an Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius is scared of your psychic gifts. Okay. Um, but this is somebody you've walked away from. You could have walked away from a Taurus. Um, possibly because of the competition, the jealousy, the gossip, the fights. Alright. Okay, who is saying our relationship was never real? Who is saying to Cancer our relationship was never real? A third party? Oh, wow, a Libra. Okay, what you've got here... Your relationship was never real, possibly with a Libra or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio because there was somebody else in the picture. This is very much, uh, there was a romantic third party. So if you're in a relationship with someone, so like if you're in a relationship with a Libra, they had somebody else that they were going to, okay? And they didn't want you to see this person because this person's back is turned. They were hiding this person from you or trying to. But your, rela uh, sorry, your psychic gifts... Um, scare the crap out of this particular person here, okay? <clears throat> okay. Who had the past relationship reconciliation? Could have been a fire sign. Or somebody was lying to you about this. The Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. So somebody could have told you that somebody else went back to an ex and they've had a reconciliation, okay? Don't listen to the gossip. This is all gossip, okay? Someone wanted, um, yeah, somebody wanted something to go in their favour. They wanted the wheel to turn for them. Possibly keep you away from your person by spreading lies about your person, okay? So someone has told you that the person you're after has gone back to an ex. Okay. What's the deal with this Aries woman? What's the deal with this Aries woman? What's the deal with this Aries woman? At the moment, this Aries woman, they're quite broken hearted. Okay, they're healing um, after a betrayal. Okay. But all this Aries wants is a brand new beginning with somebody. They want a second chance. It could be with you. Let's clarify judgment. Who does the Aries want a second chance with? With their single life. Okay, so this Aries 
Right. I feel like the fairies, they're taking back their power, okay? Um, they have been, uh, they were betrayed in, in the past. You know, they've had their heart broken possibly more than once. And what the series is doing right now, they're just concentrating on their own stability, their own happiness, okay? They're getting a second chance um, at life, and I don't think they're taking anybody with them. They're walking away from anything that doesn't serve them anymore. They took their power back. And this Aries, you know, they're single, they're abundant, they're working on um, themselves, their, their own family members, I think, okay? That's what you need to know about that Aries. Okay, who wants to have a son with cancer? Who wants to have a son with cancer? Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, and a Knight of Cups. You've got a fight on your hands. Okay, you've got two different people who want to have a son with you, okay? But the weird thing is, um, this Queen of Wands, okay, is looking straight at you with this Knight of Cups. Okay, this Aries, Liera, or Sagittarius, they're looking at you with the Knight of Cups. It could be them that is actually coming towards you. But you've got the Queen of Swords out there. You may already have a child with this um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but they're looking away. It feels like they're more after a handout from you rather than um, to be a part of their life. But this Queen of Wands, um, oh, I, I've just heard if it's if it's a Gemini, it's a no. If it's an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, it's a yes. I don't know what your thoughts are on this, but you've got two different people. You may already have a child with somebody, and somebody else wants to have a child with you. But you've got two different people out here. <clears throat> but this is the problem here, okay? The Queen of Wands is looking at you. You're looking at the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords, where's they? where are they looking? Where's the Queen of Swords looking? Not at you. Okay? So it seems like this um, fire sign wants to have a son with you, but it seems like you want to have a son with an air sign, and they're not even looking at you. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Now they're holding back from you. The air sign is holding back from you, possibly because of finances, or what this, <laughs> this is what this is looking at. Um, you could already have a child, a son, with this air sign, and they, they've got their hand up, okay? They want money from you, and you're holding on to every single pentacle. All right, this person could have, um, you know, had a child with you just so they could get some money out of you. Or if this is like, um, you know, if your child is quite a few years old, and you've split up with this air sign, they now, you could be actually going to court. It doesn't matter what sign this Queen of Swords is. It could be that you're in a court situation. Someone's trying to get child benefit money out of you. Not child benefit, but, you know, child um, child support. What's this Queen of Wands here? What's this Queen of Wands? What's this Queen of Wands? This Queen of Wands doesn't think you even notice them. Okay, it's like this this queen of ones, okay, they're, they're lying to themselves about you, okay, they do not have the faith, they've offered to you before, okay, they found the strength and the courage to actually tell you the truth, right, but they're lying to themselves, they don't think that you want anything to do with them, because this fire sign knows that you're trying your hardest to get back with an air sign. You want the air sign, you don't want the fire sign. So, yeah, so this fire sign has decided, so that they clearly don't want me. They're lying to themselves. Okay. They feel like they have to be strategic just to even get you to notice them. Alright, but they are actually starting, I'm hearing, they are starting to lose hope. Okay. This person is very proud, okay. There might be a little bit in their ego. But they've already told you what they want with you. They've told you, but you weren't even giving them a second look. You possibly thought that this person was deceptive. Okay? Because you, you weren't even looking. You're not looking back at this Queen of Wands. You're looking forward at the Queen of Swords, who is holding back from you. 
Alright. What's this Taurus man? What is this Taurus man? What's the Taurus man about? Yeah, you're in court. You're fighting. Okay? This person wants to win all the costs, but they know. They know that they're about to lose. Okay, with the Nine of Swords. This is keeping them up at night. They are not sleeping. They're so anxious about it. It's like they know that their body language, if there is a psychologist involved, or I don't know, even if you're just getting tarot readings on this Taurus, okay, you may be a tarot reader, but either way, this Taurus knows your psychic gift probably scares them, okay? <clears throat> so whoever this Taurus is, they were trying to fight off the competition, okay? They were trying to make it out like they were right and you were wrong, but because of your psychic gift or because of... um certain witnesses or if like i said if you've got a psychologist involved here they're going to be exposed and this is what is worrying the taurus okay what else do you need to know what else does cancer need to know please what else does cancer need to know okay someone is getting caught in the act so someone has been caught doing something they shouldn't we will clarify that and somebody's daydreaming of you. Again, you've got lots of different energies. Okay, so someone cannot get you off their mind. Attracted to you. Constantly thinks of being with you romantically. Alright, let's just get one more. So there's lovely cancers. First house. One sense of identity. How they express themselves. Their first impressions they give off. Okay, I'm hearing that you have judged someone. Okay, cancer. You've judged someone before you actually got to know them. And are you regretting it? You judge someone actually quite harshly. I'm wondering if it's this Queen of Wands that you have judged quite harshly. Uh, you rejected them and you went towards someone who doesn't even actually give a shit about you. You went towards the Queen of Swords and this person doesn't give a shit about you. They just want the money. Who's been caught in the act? Who's getting caught in the act? Someone you have a family with, the Ten of Pentacles. Who's holding back, possibly hiding finances from you. Okay, so you have a family with somebody. It could be your family. By the way, there's a lot of money involved here. It could be an inheritance that is owed to you. Um, <clears throat> I need some more on this, hang on. This could be the Taurus that you're dealing with in a court situation. This could be... Um, an inheritance that is owed to you and you're fighting it in court what is this and there's that queen of swords again it could be an air sign involved here um mother of your children or it could be i don't know i just heard a teacher for some reason a teacher or someone who runs their own business there's something dodgy with money here and someone's been caught in the act this could be why you're going to court Give me more on this, please. Give me more on this. Yeah, it could be because somebody was, um, somebody got caught flirting. Somebody got caught in the act having sex with a third party. Okay, you possibly found out that this Queen of Swords, um, was flirting with someone else who was actually cheating on you with somebody else. Okay, uh, it, this has got something to do with money. If they took your money on purpose, if I don't know if this has got something to do with a child, and they took your money, which rightfully was not theirs, they're going to get caught in the act here. I think in one of your last readings, um, you found out that a child wasn't yours and you were going to go to court about it. And you've been paying someone child support for many, many years. Someone's getting caught in the act. That line about something, okay. Who is this person who is daydreaming of you? Who is daydreaming of cancer? Who is daydreaming about cancer? The King of Cups, our Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, why? Why the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? They're day daydreaming of you, but they don't trust you. I'm sorry, Cancer. Again, we've got the Queen of Wands come out and the Queen of Swords. You are definitely dealing with the fire sign and an air sign. Feminine. 
Okay. The one who's daydreaming about you knows you're doing something with the Queen of Swords. If you told this Queen of Wands, okay, that you're not in a relationship, you're not dealing with an ex who's possibly an air sign, you are Cancer, okay? You can't lie about that. It's in the cards. This Queen of Wands knows they're very much in love with you and they're highly intuitive. They know you are still dealing with this Queen of Swords who you're actually still in a sexual relationship with. I'm sorry, I have to say what I see here. <clears throat> yeah, well, let's see what they say. Cancer, how do you f currently feel about this air sign? How does Cancer currently feel about the air sign? Nine of Swords. The Two of Wands, the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You don't feel like you can trust the air sign. They are giving you sleepless nights. They're giving you headaches. You feel stuck and bound to them. You're not moving on from this air sign. You feel like you can't move on from an air sign. Because you're wanting truth and clarity. What's the Ace of Swords? You can't move on until this whole thing has been blown over. The Three of Swords. Okay. How you feel about this air sign? Betrayed, stabbed in the back, just like the, like the Aries woman that came out. The truth and clarity that you're waiting for is a third party situation to come out, a romantic third party. You're waiting for the lies to come out, or the truth to come out. And this has caused you, this has actually made you ill. High Priestess, you knew something was going on the whole time. Or this Aries woman that was that you're involved with, or if they're just an acquaintance, they possibly are the, you know, the high priestess, and they told you about it, they warned you about it, but you didn't listen. You judged them harshly. Do you believe them now? You rejected them. You rejected their gifts. Okay, because your ego was in the way. You're going to find out the truth about this air sign, okay? That has caused you so many sleepless nights. Alright, what about the, the fire sign? How do you currently feel about the fire sign? How do you feel about the fire sign? The three of pentacles, the knight of wands. How do you feel? You want a second chance with them now? You want to come back to this fire sign because you were in and out with them, okay? You want to start a passionate brand new beginning with them and you're waiting for the right time. You are waiting for this whole deal with the, with the air sign um, to finish so you can go, go towards this fire sign who you judged harshly. Okay, you want to reconcile. You want to work with the fire sign. Okay. You don't know if this fire sign is going to take you back, do you? Hang on, baby. Will this fire sign take you back? Will the fire sign take you back? I'm sorry. They don't know if they can trust you. They really don't know. Their guard is very up, okay? They don't know if they can trust you, Cancer, so you're going to have to convince them. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop this there. All right, guys?